Hello, Maureen O'Hara here. I'm talking to you from a vineyard in the Algarve, which is in Portugal's very southernmost coast. And if you can look at me blinking in the sun here, it's a quarter to seven in the evening and the sun is still shining. And it's still sh shining on these vines here behind me. And this is a key characteristic of the wine style that you'll find in this area. Very lovely fruit-driven wines, particularly good for making red wines. Um, and I suppose I, I came along to taste some wines from different wineries, not knowing what to expect. And I was very, very pleasantly surprised because the wineries here now um, are very much open towards receiving visitors, to showing off their wines, to exporting. Um, and you can sense that there's a great uh, amount of change and there's a great inertia happening here in these vineyards. Like this one here, for example, this is Monte de Castellasia. And it's a small family-run property. Literally, there, there's where the people live, um, just in front of me. They happen to have four rooms open to guests. They have a lovely farm with chickens and uh, other animals and vegetables. And then they have three hectares of vineyards. And looking at the vineyards that, um, that are here, it's reflective, really, of what I've seen in other regions. They grow local Algarvian grape varieties, but they also grow uh, grape varieties from other parts of Portugal. Um, and indeed, um, in this region, they grow grape varieties that are more native to France. And I suppose what they're doing is they're building on the uh, climate and the soil and everything here. They're outsourcing some expertise from um, winemakers in other countries. And they're saying, what do we need to do to make our wines taste better? And that's very much coming through when you taste the wines here today. There's a huge amount of experimentation going on. Um, so when you pick up a bottle of Portuguese wine from this area, you're very likely to see uh, Vino Regional as the description on it. But don't let that put you off, because in this area what it means is that the winemaker is using grape varieties that aren't local to the area. And to my mind that's reflective of uh, a winemaker who's actually quite passionate and who, who knows what they're doing and that they have quite a lot of um, confidence in their winemaking skills. Um, having tasted the wines, I think the strength is definitely in red wines. And I suppose if you look at the sunshine that they have here, that that's, only makes sense. So what I found are very, very fruit-driven wines. Lots of lovely dark berries, pepperiness, um, and quite a bit of um, difference you know, from one winery to the next and one wine uh, to the next, because they're using you know, one of the many hundreds of Portuguese grape varieties that they have here. Um, but it's not all about fruit-driven wines either. I've also seen some really elegant, classic, structured wines that um, they could be from anywhere in the world um, in the sense of the quality of the winemaking that I've seen. Um, and it's all very, very clean, well-balanced, well-structured, everything that I have seen so far. So I would encourage you that if you're on your holidays in this region, come down, you know, get a car, get a map out and go and visit these wineries. Um, because they really are producing some very good quality and they're at the stage where you get a lovely warm welcome from the people behind them. They love talking, they love your feedback, they'd love to sell a lot more wine actually. Um, so do try them, Wines of the Algarve.